these are uh, Iraqi uh, military patches. Yeah. And, and how you got the idea of these uh, military patches from? Oh, I got it from a collector. Oh, why, why are you dressed like an Iraqi Special Forces person? Oh, it's just a kid. Uh, as a kid? Yeah, yeah. I mean, how you got the idea of cosplaying as a Iraqi Special Forces soldier? Oh, how I get it? Yeah, how you how you got the idea of it? Oh, I just, I used to watch a lot of war videos and all that. Mm. So it's like, because uh, you know, Iraqi Special Forces were the main dudes that were fighting uh, ISIS and whatnot. Yes. Especially in, in, in uh, Mosul, yes. uh, Ramadi, Fallujah. Those are the big battles in 2015, 2016. And then, and then now going into 2017 and forward, they're doing counter, counterinsurgency. So, I know a couple of these guys, I've talked to them here and there, we had chats on Facebook here and there. So it's just like, you know, they're personally my heroes. Mm. So that's where I got all the kit from. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Good for them, and thankfully, Daesh has basically been destroyed. Right. Yeah, they're, they're trying to revive themselves, though. Yes. Yes. Because uh, what it is is that uh, uh, Daesh is, is trying to reorganize itself, especially in the countryside of Diyala. Mm -hmm. So, like northeast of Bakuba is where they're mostly hanging out at, mm. and then they hang out in the part of eastern Salahadin, which is called um, Metebeja, mm. which is like the countryside, but it's very remote. So the issue is that security forces can't get to it because these guys are constantly moving, especially at night, mm. like in the darkness. Nice. And and they, they re despite being like there must be less than two thousand in Iraq, all yeah. through Iraq, but despite being that small. They remain a very capable threat. Mm. So the focus now is just to ch chase them down, track down all the cells yeah. and take them out. Yeah, I see. Dude, they got me on them for doing that. Yeah, it's, 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 whatever they did, it, it was a godsend. Uh -huh. Personally, they did the world a favor because there were, there were tens of thousands of ISIS jihadists coming from 90 different countries. Syria is having the same problem. Yeah. With, with Hayat, Tariyah, and Shah. And uh, believe it or not, uh, I, I thought it actually enabled ISIS and Daesh to grow. Yeah, just by not doing anything about it. Yeah, they, he knew that if the uh, we, if the rebels actually had untouched power, he, I thought would have been killed or dead almost uh, within a few months if it wasn't for Russia uh, intervening. Well, the other thing too is that a lot of people don't realize that the reason why the Russians intervened in 2015, it wasn't because of the rebels. They intervened because ISIS was marching on the gates of Damascus. Because in southern Damascus, the rebels there, there was rebels and then there was Nusra. Mm. And Nusra defected to ISIS. Mm. So the whole entire Palestinian quarter down there turned into an ISIS territory and he was, and they were on the footsteps of, of Assad's uh, presidential palace. Uh, yes, I believe it or not, the, uh, the Palestinian uh, uh, yeah, the Palestinian refugee street camp was actually besieged by uh, Assad's forces. They were besieged because uh, the Palestinians, for some reason, turned their back against uh, Assad. For some, so they actually joined the rebels, and the Assad uh, regime had decided to uh, to uh, slaughter everyone, basically not leave anyone alive. And, just, and when ISIS came, they just let uh, ISIS uh, roll in. And once I just rolled in, they, they had an excuse to destroy the uh, destroy the Palestinian refugee camp. And it was and it was um it was Hamas that switched sides because well, because the thing is that Assad is support Hamas just like Iran. Does. But then Hamas come 2012 2013 they defected to the rebels yes. and, and they, they switched sides and all that and they uh and then they're the ones that taught the rebels in Damascus how to dig all the tunnels. Mm. And that's why they had all these FSA units that were doing um, uh, they were doing uh, the tunnel bombs for the longest time in Huda. So there was that. It was just yeah, because they knew if the uh, Sunni rebels came to Damascus, Assad would have been killed. Would have been killed in a matter of days. And, and besides, the real reason Assad has been re rebelling against the Sunni uh, peaceful protesters is because if it's, because they knew that they knew that here's the thing. Uh, in, in Syria, there is a, there's an all white uh, community that yeah. is definitely in control of everything, yeah. and they're subjugating the Sunnis. And the Sunnis see, see the all white have uh, as infidels. They have no legitimacy at all. Yeah, because because the Alawites, a lot of people say that the Alawites are Shia, but the Alawites are syncretic. They're syncretic, so they have a mix of all these different religions. Mm. And the, and Hafez made it a point to introduce. Uh, how do you say, like, 
introduce like Sunni theology mm -hmm. into his Alawite community, and that's why uh, a lot of the big families so in Aleppo they supported the government. And then uh, the other thing was uh, uh, Assad's wife; mm -hmm. she's a Sunni. So I didn't forget that. Now, now, now here's the thing about the Alawite, I, which I heard from um, a Mordecai Kadar. There's a thing by a legendary uh, Islamic scholar that the Alawites are more infidels than Jews and Christians and more infidels than the uh, part of Oh, I never heard that one. Yes, I, I, I learned a lot from Mordecai Kadar. He's actually an Israeli, an Israeli scholar. Oh. He knows a lot about the Arab world that most uh, Westerners cannot even phantom. Oh, yeah, you understand. Absolutely. Because the Westerners, <laughs> the Westerners they, they fail to understand because they, they, they make everything sectarian. But the biggest thing is that Donald J. the Middle East Donald is just a power struggle between Saudi Arabia, Iran, and Turkey. This, those big three. The United States comes in, they throw a wrench in everything, and then the United States is also back in Israel. And it, it, the United States presence in Israel complicates everything. Yeah, it's a big mess of mess, and I mean seriously, yeah. I mean I mean we got bigger problems at home, yeah. and the real reason why, real reason why that what the uh, conservatives and the liberals are opposed to Bernie because if Bernie wins the election, he's going to force us to focus on all domestic issues and leave the uh, foreign affairs to, to themselves. I mean seriously, the entire problem with Syria is an app problem, yeah. apps need to solve it, and we should not be involved in it. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, then we should. It's, it's just not a problem. Yeah. What are you doing? I was just fixing the wall. I found something else you might like. What? Oh, it's fine. Okay. Oh, I have a warm. No, I got it. We'll get down here. Uh, you as well? Uh, Slav on Lovic. Slav on Lovic, uh... Yeah. yeah. Convicted war criminal, yeah. You actually caught playing at him? No. <laughs> but why you had the name? I just put different uh, war criminals as my name for every con. <laughs> mm. That was either that or uh, Hideki Tojo. Yeah. Oh my god. Well, I look like Alright. Well, see you. Alright, Take care.